for a car that sold only 5,570 units in the United States since its introduction, there sure are a lot of 2017 Cadillac CT6 variants. Caddy's not a flagship, but oh so totally a flagship, sedan can be, had here in the States with four power plants, a sweet 2.0-liter turbo i4, a 3.6-liter naturally aspirated V6, a muscular 3.0-liter, and the newest of the group, a plug-in hybrid powertrain anchored by that 2.0-liter turbo 4 and backed up by two electric motors. The newest greenest variant, dubbed the 2017 Cadillac CT6 plug-in hybrid, with a 2.0e badge on the trunk lid, is more than just a play for environmentally conscious buyers on the West Coast, it's a serious play at winning over the Chinese elite. It's no secret that the Chinese market is where most automakers are hedging their bets, and with Cadillac currently experiencing 90% year-over-year sales growth in the People's Republic versus a 4.6% drop in the U. As over the same period, it's pivoting to provide the Chinese market with more of what they want. Case in point, the new CT6 plug-in hybrid the only variant of the CT6 sedan built in China and exported to America, the gas versions are all built in Detroit, the Shanghai-built CT6 2.0e is designed to take advantage of the Chinese government's aggressive push to lower the country's emissions. With the Communist Party incentivizing what it calls new energy vehicles, such as plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, FEVs, and electric vehicles, EVs, and some cities such as Shanghai implementing gasoline-free zones, plug-in hybrids such as the Cadillac CT6 plug-in hybrid are necessary to sustain that growth. Thankfully the 2017 CT6 plug-in hybrid is far more than a cynical emission incentive play. Leveraging GM's vast experience with FEV such as the Chevrolet Volt and F such as the Chevrolet Volt, the CT6 plug-in hybrid team has developed a luxury car that'll be equally at home prowling the streets of Shanghai as it is cruising the boulevards of Los Angeles. The beating heart of the car isn't actually its engine, but rather its transmission. Utilizing the two-mode hybrid system that GM Co developed with Chrysler at the end of the past decade, the CT6 2.0 ES electric variable transmission sandwiches two 100 horsepower electric motors together via a CVT-like planetary gear set and puts the power to the road through a four-speed automatic transmission. Providing supplemental power to the electric motors is a 2.0-liter turbocharged i4 from the base CT6 2.0T that's been modified to have a higher idle speed in order to allow it to generate electricity for the battery while idling. Total system power output is 335 horsepower and a healthy 432 pound speed of torque. The final piece of the CT6 plug in hybrid's powertrain is its power pack. The plug in hybrid has an 18.4 kilowatt hours lithium ion battery featuring the same battery chemistry as the Chevrolet Bolt F behind the rear seats. Like most FEVs, the hybridized CT6 is designed to operate in electric-only mode when the battery is charged, driving like a conventional hybrid when the speeds exceed 78 miles per hour or once the battery is depleted.
plugging into a 220 volt outlet for 4.5 hours is enough to fully charge the battery's 192 cells, giving the Cadillac 31 miles of range on electricity. The car's default tour mode will always default to electric only mode with the battery sufficiently charged, or to hybrid mode when the juice has run dry. The CT6 also features a hold mode to hold the battery's state of charge in order to save the electric motors in EV only areas of Chinese cities and in high density low speed situations where electric motors are most efficient. Parked on a narrow West Los Angeles side street, little visually separates the 2017 CT6 plug-in hybrid from its less efficient brethren at first glance. Look a little closer, and you'll notice the extra filler cap covering the plug-in hardware on the driver's side of the car, the small 18-inch wheels that are necessary because of the car's relatively hefty curb weight and the 2.0E badge on the car's trunk. It's the same story inside. Save for the smaller trunk, you can thank the battery pack for that, and the fully digital instrument cluster, this efficient CT6 could really be any CT6. And then you key it on dot with the battery fully topped off, and the range meter displaying 31 miles of EV range available. I set off on my short drive loop on electrons, and the CT6 feels like a big luxurious EV. The CT6's electric motors have plenty of torque to get the Cadillac moving with the flow of traffic without firing the gas engine up. The car is pretty quiet and smooth rolling down the west side's wide boulevards. But the hint of gear whine and the odd feeling of an electric motor being shifted by a gearbox that behaves like an automatic half the time and a CVT the other half betray the CT6 for being a different animal from your run of the mill luxury. If Like other GM built FEFs and EPS, the 2017 CT6 plug in features regen on demand braking paddles. But Cadillac gave the system a bit of a rethink for the CT6. Instead of having a paddle on the left hand side of the steering wheel used to modulate regenerative braking force, the CT6 has four driver selectable regenerative modes named like BMW sports cars M1, M2, M3, and M4, they're not really named after Bimmers. M4 is the default mode. It provides the least amount of regeneration and deceleration, essentially mimicking the natural engine braking that occurs in internal combustion engine powered cars when you get off the throttle. M1 is the most aggressive regenerative mode, providing a full on EV like driving experience. M3 and M2 fill the gap between the other two, providing increasing levels of regeneration. He played around with all four modes, but wound up missing the simplicity and effectiveness of the single regen on demand paddle. I imagine it'd take a bit more than a few hours behind the wheel to grow completely comfortable with the systems. What really makes Cadillac's plug-in feel different than other plug-in hybrids is the way the engine fires up to supplement the motor's electrons.
when running on battery power, the engine fires up to add power when pressing the throttle past its 50% point. The first time I dipped into the throttle to pass slower traffic on a congested freeway was jarring, to say the least, 